decade ago, Fiat's future was bleak, losing market share and bogged down by labor disputes. But a gamble on a bankrupt American car maker is starting to pay off. Bloomberg's Olivia Stearns reports on the man behind the wheel. He doesn't get a lot of sleep. Sergio Marchioni is known to work 18 hours a day and carry at least five phones. He's always on the move and almost never in a suit. Carlo De Benedetti once ran Fiat and knows Marchioni's habits well. He's a fantastic hard worker. He's totally concentrated on what he's doing. He has no other uh, passion or love. For sure, if uh, Marchione wouldn't have been there, Fiat would not exist anymore. But exist, it does, despite its heyday being in the 1950s and 60s, when the Cinquecento was its signature car. Now it controls Ferrari and Alfa Romeo, making Fiat one of Italy's marquee brands. When Marconi arrived seven years ago, one of the last times he wore a tie, Fiat was nearly bankrupt. He used his background in finance to turn the company around. His challenge now, to revive Chrysler, the American car giant. I think we found our way with Chrysler. I think we need to continue to strengthen the alliance. And I, there's a limit to how many things you can handle at a particular sure. point in time. The success of the alliance now hangs on cars like the Fremont, the first Fiat produced in partnership with Chrysler. The deal has doubled Fiat's market value in the past two years. But critics say that Marchioni is taking Fiat too far from its roots. The image of Sergio Marchione has progressively replaced the image of the Fiat we used to know. The old Fiat had a public face that coincided with the face of the Agnelli family. Today there is a manager who is in charge of every fundamental decision related to the company. But Fiat's founders, the Agnellis, are still in control. Gianni Agnelli's grandson remains chairman. And for now, the family has made clear they want Marchioni in the lead, even if he doesn't exactly dress the part. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg.